This may be St. Finbar's Cathedral, but he was gone 12 centuries before they built it in 1879. His legendary monastery on this site may have been a legend more than a monastery. Legends aside, after the actual factual Black Death in the mid-14th, Norman and Gaelic elites intermarried, Gaelicizing everybody, until Parliament mandated that subjects of England speak English and follow English laws. But English authority waned outside of Dublin and the Parliament. English rule was reinforced and expanded in Ireland at the cost of about 500,000 Catholic Irish and 112,000 Protestant settlers and 100,000 people transported, half of whom were sent into indentured servitude in the West Indies. If a pre-war population of 1.5 million is assumed, this would mean that the population was reduced by almost half. Which brings us to Elizabeth Fort, first built in 1601. After Queen Liz died, the good Corkonians demolished the fort, but were then forced to rebuild it, this time as a star fort. Later, it was the headquarters for the dread black and tans during the War of Independence, and later burned by the anti-treaty de Valera faction. I think it's my favorite fort because my favorite thing about forts is when they get destroyed by the good citizens lorded over by them and their lordships. Today, Corkonians struggle against the lords of climate catastrophe. 